In this problem, we're going to evaluate this iterated integral. Let's go ahead and work through its solution. So we'll start by integrating with respect to r, because the dr is written first. When we do that, we treat the theta as a constant. So cosine theta, we're just going to pretend it's constant throughout the computation. So we're going from negative 1 to 5, from 0 to pi over 2, now we're integrating this with respect to r. I'm going to put the cosine theta in the front. And using the power rule to integrate r, we add 1 to the exponent. So we get r squared, and we divide by 2. I'm going to put this in brackets here to indicate that we still have to evaluate this. So we're going from 0 to 3. And then we still have the d theta and also the dz. Okay, so just be really careful with the notation when you're doing uh, problems like this. We're going from negative 1 to 5, from 0 to pi over 2, and then here, so basically we're evaluating this, so we plug in 3 first, that'll give us 3 squared over 2, we subtract, we plug in 0, that's 0 squared over 2. This just gives us 9 over 2. So I'm going to go ahead and put that 9 over 2 here. Put the cosine theta here, and then the d theta, and then the dz. Okay, so now we have to integrate with respect to theta, because that's written next. So we're basically integrating cosine. So when you integrate cosine, you ask yourself, what's a function whose derivative is cosine? Well, sine. So this will be negative 1 to 5. Integrating cosine is going to give us sine, so this is 9 halves. I'll put a bracket here on the sine. And we're going from 0 to pi over 2. And then we still have the dz. So this is equal to negative 1 to 5, 9 halves. We plug in pi over 2, so we get the sine of pi over 2 minus the sine of 0. And then we still have the dz. Okay, this is equal to the integral from negative 1 to 5. We have the 9 halves here. And then the sine of pi over 2 is 1. Just think about the unit circle. So on the unit circle, every ordered pair is of the form cosine x, or cosine theta, sine theta. So at pi over 2, the y coordinate is 1. So this is going to be 1. Minus, and the y coordinate is 0 is 0. Sine of 0 is 0. dz. All right, good stuff. So not difficult. You just have to take your time with it. So we're going from negative 1 to 5. And we just have 9 halves dz. Okay, so now we just have to integrate this with respect to z. So this is a constant, so it'll just be 9 halves z. And then we're going from negative 1 to 5. So this is equal to 9 halves, plug in 5, subtract, plug in negative 1. So this is 9 halves, 5 plus 1 is 6, so we get 54, because 6 times 9 is 54, over 2, so we get the answer of 27. Went a little bit fast there, but um, hopefully this has made a little bit of sense, and hopefully this has been helpful to someone out there who is trying to you know, learn a little bit of calculus. I hope this has been helpful. Good luck.